on for centuries. Many sounded the alarm bells then. And we should remember the words of some of the indigenous people's leaders, particularly in the Americas, that said we could kill everything in pursuit of money, but eventually we shall not be able to eat money, survive on money. And so, we are here today, remembering as much as we can, all the lives not just lost, but still being lost today to this carnage of corporate greed. <laughs> greed that manifests itself, particularly on the continent of Africa where I come, Ghana specifically, in the literal disemboweling of Mother Earth. And just imagine, in pursuit of gold, many minerals worthless in comparison to life on Earth, we are literally having politicians hold our Mother Earth down for corporate vultures to disembowel her. And the carnage that accompanies that is what we should bear in mind as we gather here today in mourning. But in mourning, let us understand that it is not about agonizing, it is about organizing for rebellion. <laughs> to deepen this rebellion, to oppose, to obstruct, to disrupt the business as usual of these criminals who are making a living out of peddling death. Let us get that very clear because there are some who think that we should even apologize for wanting to obstruct this business as usual of death that is all around us. Some of us disagree because let's be very clear it is the norm, so called normal everyday things we are dragged into doing that is the very process of measuring life measuring our planet earth so to obstruct this normal everyday business as usual atrocities that we are all dragged into being accomplices of is the only way of waking up humanity to the severity of the crimes that we are committing against ourselves and against Mother Earth. There are some who put it as we are confronted with a choice. The choice between the reactionary violence that dis is disemboweling us and pushing us more and more to the brink. And that revolutionary violence with which we see those who are offering themselves to be arrested display where the violence of the fossil fuel military industrial complex is challenged by those who put themselves, their bodies, against this destruction. But also, let's be clear about one thing, one more thing. It was Hugh P. Newton of the Black Panthers who said this. The choice is that of reactionary suicide, where you do nothing or you do very little but then you get eliminated in that process by the forces of greed. Because the very air we breathe is being poisoned. The food we eat is being poisoned. Water bodies have been destroyed. 
huge craters have been left on planet Earth by destructive man-made activities that degrade the environment. Against that kind of reactionary system, whether, whether we like it or not, people are dying prematurely, people are not realizing their full life potentials. Against that, we have that of revolutionary suicide. And that is, we will do whatever it takes to obstruct this bandwagon of death and refuse to be part of that train. And we do so proud with a conviction that ours will no longer be the generation that betrays humanity and Mother Earth. Ours will be the generation with respect to lives lost, lives being lost today, but in defense of life to exist on this planet Earth that we will do everything possible to stop this carnival of death that we have been dragged into. So let us feel proud in what we are doing. We are writing some of the most beautiful pages of human history. And we are doing so for what reason? So that the more beautiful pages that humanity will write again when we put this barbarism behind us that history will record us thank you very much